Hello and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? You guys, I need to tell you something. I currently have a baby kitten in my room and I'm talking a little quietly because she's actually right over here in this little corner sleeping and I don't want to wake her, but I have a kitten in my room and I'm really considering keeping her, but before introducing you guys to her i kind of wanted to talk a little bit of kind of how everything happened of what she's doing here in my room right now so you guys remember lucy um panther's sister i believe i mentioned her to you guys a few times well she recently just had her litter of kittens i believe she has three or four total and i actually just saw her kittens for the first time last night but I saw her first so let's go back to last night I was actually eating dinner I was having some pizza and I was sitting in the direction that's facing my sliding door the backyard sliding door and as I was eating I noticed this little black colored thing kind of jumping around and I was like what the heck and I was so confused and I told my mom and my mom was like, oh, that's Lucy's kitten. She's been coming around lately. And so I was like, oh, well, she's so cute. She's so small. So I ended up, you know, continuing on with my dinner. And after that, I went into the garage to grab a water bottle. And in the garage, we had our side door open for Lucy to come in and eat. So as I was entering the garage, the kitten was right there where Lucy's food and water is, kind of just hanging out there. And as soon as she saw me, she booked it. She ran out the door. So I was like, hmm, I'll stay in here because I really, really want to grab her. Like, she's so cute. I just want to cuddle with her. So I decided to stay in the garage and I was drinking my water. I kind of gave Lucy a little bit of water um, in her bowl and kind of just sat there and was just hanging out and so the kitten was like back and forth coming in and out very insecure but she was exploring everything in the garage so she did that a few times same thing and i want to say like the third or fourth time that she came in she was actually following lucy because lucy came in to eat again and to have some water so she followed after her and she was kind of just hanging right there with lucy kind of exploring the garage it took her a little while but after a little while she kind of came a little closer to me i was sitting on the floor where lucy's bowls were i was sitting crisscross so she came near me and she ended up coming really, really close to my lap area. And I thought to myself, I can just grab her right now and, you know, just bring her inside. So that's what I did. I ended up grabbing her and I brought her inside with Lucy, of course. I didn't want her to feel like out of, you know, the norm. I brought her inside and Debbie saw her first and she automatically got upset. She was like, oh my God, she's so small, she's so cute. And right away she was like, you should keep her. We'll go to the pet store right now. We'll get all her necessities. Like, let's do this, I'll help you. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to own her just yet. Like, I, I don't know, I just think she's cute, but I don't know if I want to keep her like that. So I put her on the floor and kind of let her explore the house a little bit. Panther saw her and automatically ran to her. They had their first little meet and he was so gentle with her. And if anything, he was actually curious. Like he saw her and he was looking at her like, what what are you like why are you so small like what where'd you come from you know but he was very gentle with her and so we had her inside for a good time but then my mom was kind of like you should leave her with her mom like it's not cool that you're taking her baby away so in my head i was kind of like i don't know if i want to put her outside again like i i don't know it's just there's just so many cats out there and you know anything can go wrong and it just saddens me that she's so small you know like my initial thought process in that moment was let me keep her overnight and you know the next day i'll probably have a better plan of what i want to do with her if i want to keep her if i want to take her to the shelter or leave her out here so long story short you know my mom kept saying to leave her with lucy and leave her with her mom so i was like all right i'll just do that then just she'll be with her mom it should be fine so fast forward to today i want to say it was about like an hour and a half ago <laughs> <My idea. laughs> 
I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. I think you should keep her. I think she should keep her. <laughs> she needs to keep her. I'm kind of just explaining to them what happened in this last hour and a half. It's the same one, huh? The one that Dude, crazy. Yes, it is the same one. Oh, wow. Don't get me. I'm just going to be spoiling. Careful with her, though. She's very, like... But she's been sleeping for the last, like, two hours. So, anyways, um, we went outside. Biba saw them for the first time, and she automatically started obsessing. She ended up saying that she wanted to grab one of the kittens. So, we were kind of there for, like, a good... How long were we out there? For a good, like, 20 minutes just trying to grab one of the kittens. And funny thing is that after those 20 minutes, I ended up grabbing the one that I actually had last night. I brought her in. Panther automatically recognized her. He was very, like all over her this time and I kind of just let her explore the house again so then after a while I brought her in here and put her on my bed she was kind of getting used to the bed and she ended up making her way to the corner over here where my fan is and I guess she like loved the feeling of the fan because she automatically just like stood there in that corner and she just knocked out so she's been there for like the last like what gonna be two hours now. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm really considering keeping her. We're gonna give her a bath right now because she is a little dirty. Little? Her nose is great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna show you guys just yet. I kind of wanna get her cleaned up first. So I'll probably show you guys a little later. But right now I think I am just gonna give her a little bath, <coughs> get her Bless you. Well, if you want, I'm gonna go to Costco and um, Target and stuff if you wanna go and then we can um, get her a little litter box. <laughs> can you get her a litter box and a little collar? This is so new for me, guys. I've never owned a cat before. She's so tiny. She's so small. I really wanna show you guys her right now, but not, not yet, not yet. <laughs> She's just been chilling there since since we brought her in. Yeah, so we'll probably just, we'll take a trip to the pet store, I guess, and just get her a little litter box. What are we gonna name her? I don't know what I'm gonna name her just yet. Still kind of thinking about that, so. I don't know, I'm kind of just scrambled all over right now. I don't, I don't I'm not thinking too straight right now. <laughs> no, no, it's not that difficult. Take a breath. I just can't believe she's so small. And she's so calm now. Cute. Okay, I'll check back later, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I can't be. She's okay. She's so confused. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hate this. I'm really sorry, okay? But you have to do this because you're clean. You gotta be clean, okay? Oh. Maybe, oh, maybe put some soap in there already? Have the water running kind of warm too in case you need to. Yeah, um, you should put the water running warm. It's okay. She's gonna cry so much. A black shampoo on a black cat. <laughs> That's the one I used on Panther, so. <laughs> Dude, I could not stop laughing when we bathed Panther. I almost peed myself. <laughs> it was like bathing a furry four-year-old. He's so long. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey man. <laughs> I'm drowning here. <laughs> her face. We need to put water on her face. She wants to drink the water. She's like a little bat. Oh my goodness. And then slippery. She got bubbles on her face. Do you want me to rinse my hands? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. <laughs> on her whiskers. Why does she look like Dobie right now? Dobie? Necessities. Gabby's with us. Hello. Hello. She's a little. Um. She's a little more awake now. She kind of slept a little more in the car. 
and now Debbie's going nuts for Panther. But yeah, that's kind of the update right now. Currently trying to decide if we're gonna take some milk liquid for her or these guys. We found these that are for mother and baby cat, I guess. Alrighty, ladies and gents, it is the next day. We had our first sleepover last night, and I gotta say it went pretty well. She only woke up twice for food, but after that she was good. She slept for most of the night. Panther is trying to adjust to her um, and seeing her every day, all day, every day. He's kind of confused at the moment. It seems like he likes her, but then at some point he's kind of just like, no, like he'll play with her and then he'll suddenly just stop and kind of just walk away but if she like cries or anything like that he'll come like right away and make sure she's doing good they've had a couple of play dates so you know they are a little friendly with each other but of course panther is still not a hundred percent comfortable so he's still he's still transitioning but for the most part, they're good, and he's doing absolutely great with her. So um, I think now I'll go ahead and introduce her officially. Okay, so it might be a little difficult, but I'm gonna try. Anyways, this is my new little kitty. She is very awake right now. She actually just finished eating, so she's kind of just mobile, but um, this is she. I decided to call her Autumn, and now she wants to get down, so. Alrighty, say goodbye, Autumn. Say goodbye. Okay. So, I decided to call her Autumn. Originally, her name was going to be Kismet, which actually means fate or destiny. Um, but then Debbie kind of brought up the name Autumn, and I started thinking about it, and I'm like, well, you know, that kind of makes sense. I got her in the autumn season, and we believe she was actually born early September. So um, I feel like the name really suit her. So Autumn is her name, Autumn Aguirre. I thought about giving her a middle name, but I'm gonna be calling her Autumn for the most part. So I feel like the middle name's kind of unnecessary. But yeah, she's been doing so good. Um, she is literally a little baby. She sleeps for most of the day and only wakes up when she's hungry or if she wants to play, but Honestly, for the most part, she's just hungry. She's been doing good um, transitioning from being outside for a little portion of her life to becoming an inside cat. She's doing really well with that. Debbie actually helped out um, with buying some necessities for her from Amazon. So she went ahead and bought her a litter box that also comes with the scooper and two bowls for her food and her water. We also got her a little bag carrier and what was the other thing that we bought her? I can't remember what the other thing was, but those are gonna be coming tomorrow. So for the meantime, for her bathroom necessities, I kind of just cut up a box um, and put a little bit of Panther's litter inside of it. So she's been using that for her bathroom and she's doing really good with that. She knows that that's her bathroom. I also went ahead and got her a couple of things from Petco. So, hello Miss Feisty Pants. So I went ahead and bought her a little best friend. So I bought her a little lamb chop. I bought her these cute little tropical toys. It's a flamingo and this kind of looks like a pineapple to me. <laughs> I also bought her this blanket so she can sleep in. I wrap her inside of this and she just dozes off instantly. The bed was supposed to be for Lucy so when she would come around and hang out she could just chill in here but she never really liked it so it ended up just staying there kind of sitting so I went ahead and gave it to my little traviesa over here and she seems to love it so much she's gotten so used to it already she knows that this is her little bed look at her trying to play <laughs> we see you little one she is in her teething moments so she's kind of getting whatever her mouth can get on and just chewing away Yes, you. I also went ahead and bought her some flea medicine since she was outside um, for a little while. I put that on her last night so, you know, if she has anything, 
it'll just kill it off. And I also already made an appointment for her um, to get checked out and get her general examination. Vaccination, she isn't able to get yet. Um, the clinic didn't have any appointments for any time soon. The appointments are going to be more towards late November, early December. So I think we're going to wait on that for a little bit. But she is going to get her general checkup tomorrow. So we just want to make sure that she's healthy and we want to know her weight right now because she is kind of tiny and stuff. <laughs> So we will find all of that information out tomorrow at 5 p.m. Huh, mamas? Already destroying her blanket. So as far as food, um, she actually just had a meal. But basically what I've been doing is getting a few of the kibbles of Panther's food. His food is good for all ages. So I've been getting a few kibbles um, and combining it with this milk replacement that I bought from Petco. I think it's by Petlac or something like that. So I've been combining the two together. I've kind of just been letting the kibble sit in the milk replacement for a little bit and then just letting her munch away on all of that. And she seems to really enjoy it. She really devours the bowl. So yeah, that's kind of her little... Her little meal at the moment until she gets a little bigger hopefully um, tomorrow we'll find out exactly what she should be having at her age so yeah we should get more info tomorrow alrighty guys so it's been about an hour or two and I thought I'd go ahead and close out today's video right here because this little one is taking her little nap now and I mean I think this video is gone far enough <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you all enjoyed today's video I hope you all enjoyed meeting little autumn today this is gonna be quite a journey for the both of us being a new cat mom and just simply raising this little one it's gonna be a journey if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and throw us a big old thumbs up any cat parents out there who are willing to drop down any advice or give any tips for raising this little one go ahead and comment them down below i would love to hear your guys' thoughts make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when i post my videos don't forget to follow me on instagram because when i'm not here i'm over there and also follow me if you want to see pictures of autumn because those are gonna start coming out very soon i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye say bye pretty girl little sleepy baby take a bite to the world <laughs> bye guys